Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and welcome back to another episode of Fast Fridays. I got four minutes to get you guys out the door and ready for the weekend. This weekend, I have a bit of a quest, a task, a mission, if you will. I want you to head on out, find someone who is very close to you in your life, who isn't into video games, and attempt to introduce them to video games for the very first time. Attempt to help them find the same love and passion that you and I have within the wonderful world of video games. Now, I'm not gonna just send you out there without any help, without any guidance. I actually have quite a good chunk of experience in doing just this. My girlfriend, uh, for example, when we first met, not really video games, but she had a bit of ancient history with video games, as I'm sure many people in life actually do. She had played games like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot with her cousins as a young kid. So I use that as my jumping off point when trying to introduce her into video games in the modern day. I eventually got her hooked on Animal Crossing, and she recently just finished her longtime addiction with Pikmin 3. She beat the game three separate times. This is someone who doesn't normally play video games. She played Pikmin 3 three freaking times over. I think that just about everyone can find something to love in video games somewhere, but you have to start in the right place. And for you and me, it's easy to just kind of start to throw games that we personally like at people, hoping that they will also like them. You have to remember that even as avid video game players, there are games and genres and themes and settings that we simply don't care for. It's the same thing for people who don't play video games. So don't go to your girlfriend who has no interest in horror, who can't even sit through an episode of Supernatural or Stranger Things because it gives her the heebie-jeebies, and then try and get her to play Resident Evil with you. It's simply not going to work. You want to find things that these people enjoy in real life. What types of films do they watch? What types of books do they read? What types of television shows do they like? Find games that have similar settings, similar themes, similar characters, and maybe even similar stories. It's a great connection point for them. When they boot into a game and they see something that they know they already love from past entertainment experiences, it's going to give them a much higher chance to stick with it. They're going to be intrigued by what you've shown them, and it's going to make it easier to overcome the obstacles that they might face ahead, depending on the game that you're actually giving to them. Now this is definitely the second piece. You want to find something that has a reasonable learning curve. If this person has never played video games before, please don't throw them into a first person or third person shooter. Those things are incredibly challenging and difficult, whether you're playing with a mouse and keyboard or a controller, there is so much to learn there and no one is going to have fun. Consider starting off with adventure games, games, games that don't require fast reaction times or a ton of muscle memory, platformers even, games you know where they can really just kind of mess around freeform and get comfortable with the controls. Better yet, find something you think they might like and rather than just instantly passing them the controller, let them come along for the ride. Let them watch you play, gauge their enjoyment factor. Do they seem interested? Are they asking questions? If not, they're probably just being nice and they really don't have any interest in what you're actually playing. So consider moving on to the next game or better yet, so them, show them a selection of games that you've chosen, give them a small taste, maybe show them a video clip and let them pick the game that interests them most and go from there. There are a lot of amazing video games out there and I always will stand by my belief that there is a video game for each and every person, for each and every bit of taste and personal enjoyment out there in the world. Good luck on your quest, good luck on your journey. Please, let me know how it goes. If you end up with a story after this weekend, come on back, let me know, hit me up on Twitter. I don't care if you have a past experience doing something similar, feel free to share it down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.